the structural bioinformatics branch. This branch is focused on the computational modeling and analysis of three-dimensional structures of biological macromolecules, such as the proteins and nucleic acids, protein structure prediction, predicting the 3D structure of a protein from its amino acid sequence, and then molecular docking, simulating how a small molecules such as drugs may bind to the target proteins. So there are a number of softwares or wave servers available for molecular docking as well as three-dimensional structure prediction. But for three-dimensional structure prediction, these days, AlphaFold 3, which is the advanced and one of the best in terms of uh, accuracy uh, software with respect to almost all the existing softwares. So you can predict the 3D structure of any kind of proteins by using AlphaFold 3. And you can get one of the amazing results with respect to accuracy. Of course, you can use the other previously or existing softwares for the same purpose. Just you need to choose if you are going to work on homology modeling or de novo prediction. It's your choice, or you can also develop your own software. So if you are a good bioinformatician, then you can also try to find the new way of prediction of the software uh, of the three dimensional structure. And you can use the advanced version of molecular machine learning tools or AI applications for predicting the 3D structures of the protein. Now, clinical bioinformatics. Clinical bioinformatics applies the computational methods to analyze clinical and genomic data to support disease diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Personalized medicine in one of, is one of the major goal for the scientists to apply bioinformatics. Using an individual's genetic profile to tailor medical treatments, cancer genomics identification of mutations, or the other changes at epigenomics level in tumor genomes to guide the targeted therapies, infectious disease tracking, using pathogen genome sequences to track outbreaks and the spread of antibiotic resistance. You can perform the infectious disease tracking. And this is the map here figure is clearly showing the application of bioinformatics for clinical genomics, personalized medicine, pharmacogenomics, and genetic epidemiology. So this is called translational bioinformatics. Or you can also say the health bioinformatics. It depends on you. If you want to summarize the clinical bioinformatics application, then the right side figure here, you can say data analysis, interpretation, precision medication, and, and improved diagnosis, and then clinical implications, translational research, drug pre prediction, drug design, bioinformatics, clinical informatics. You need to have good sets of tools, databases, and prior knowledge of the basis also. So this is why what you need for clinical bioinformatics. And this is quite easy to work in clinical bioinformatics sector. Now, computationally evolutionary, computational evolutionary biology, that means you are going to establish the relationship between different organisms and the going to predict the minute level differences between one organism to another organism. Or you can also work on how the cancer cells have evolved from normal cells. So this field uses computational techniques to study the evolutionary relationship between the organisms by measuring changes in their DNA over time. Phylogenetic analysis is one of the first step in case of evolutionary systems biology, where you are constructing the evolutionary trees to trace the origin and descent of a species. Comparative genomics, using genome comparisons to trace complex evolutionary events like gene duplication. And when the people are docking, in addition, third uh, subtopic of computational evolutionary biology is basically when you are going to predict the driver and passenger genes in case of cancer or, or any disease, you are going to apply the similar approach. For example, if you are working on cancer, you need to predict the driver and passenger genes. Then you need to construct the phylogenetic trees and find those genes which are mutated in case of 
or because of cancer then you can say that these are something which is called driver genes or driver mutations in case of different types of cancer but if you want to see the detailed application you need to under see the research papers there are a number of research papers available for driver and passenger deep gene prediction and this is also very similar and easy part of computational evolutionary biology or bioinformatics applied in case of prediction of evolutionary relationship now other notable branches is basically which i have mentioned it's chemo informatics which is very common and frequent in case of a structural bioinformatics or a structural biology and biodiversity informatics which you can see here the how and where you are going to apply the bioinformatics for different purposes so you can study the soil you can study the diverse forests you can study the river you can study the soil samples you can study the sea samples you can study the sea waters for contamination for contamination purpose or identify new organisms then it comes to systems biology which is here you can see where you are using computational and mathematical modeling to analyze and simulate the complex interactions within the entire biological systems where you have some kind of input information some kind of sensor development some kind of signaling networks gene regulatory network metabolic networks and transcript transcriptional networks then you focus on the phenotypes or output response so it depends on you and your choice so where you are going to work and how you are going to work now then it comes to integrated bioinformatics which is basically the part of system biology where you are going to read the scientific literature then go for analytical in, in silico techniques molecular data clinical data biological modeling pharmacological data and then finally you look for some kind of predictions for the desired project goals so if you want to understand the evolution in case of bioinformatics from where we got to know or study the new subject field that is bioinformatics so it is started from 1990s and in 2020 2001 it was full fledged bioinformatics course and this is the complete overview of how bioinformatics or computational systems biology has evolved and how it could play or it is playing the potential roles in the advancement of biology in the advancement of diagnostic sectors in the advancement of therapeutic purpose so what you need to know in addition in bioinformatics the most important thing is to understand and know the biological major biological databases for example ncbi is one of the biggest database for biology and oldest database and here the, then it comes to some kind of bibliographic database sequence database structure database metabolic database then chemical database disease database taxonomical database microarray database enzyme data. there are hundreds of databases which you need to be familiar depending on your requirement and the its project requirements and the complete designed goal of your project so a database is an organized collection of related biological information that can be easily stored accessed and managed so this is what plays crucial role if you are familiar with the relevant databases which you can access from time to time now if we are going to summarize the top emerging trends or fields or branches of bioinformatics then we can say single cell omics multi omics usar structural bioinformatics and protein and drug design spatial transcriptomics and imaging database development quantum computing in bioinformatics blockchain for securing the data sharing ai artificial intelligence and machine learning approaches in bioinformatics finally i would like to say thank you for patience and watching our channel and videos and please don't forget to subscribe our channels which are here change by science and bioinformatics for all